What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2005 Chicagoland race win. And this is a grail car for me and it is also a very hard car to get. This is only the second one I've seen on eBay. And uh, let me tell you, I paid a pretty penny for this. This is the highest I've ever paid for any of my diecasts as we get into a 360 view. And uh, I think it was well worth it. Um, this is one of my favorite Dale Jr. paint schemes besides it being a race win. I just like it, you know, individually. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of his harder ones to find. Can't ever do a 360 without going out of frame. One of these days I'll get good at doing this. But anyway, really, really happy with this. Not a lot of people have it. It's hard to find. If you do find it, if you're a Dale Jr. fan and you find it, uh, I do recommend getting it. But anyway, let's go ahead into the details of this car. And uh, on the front, you have Monte Carlo in 8, and you got some good damage there. And if you notice, it's a little off kilter, which is pretty accurate because of the way the car is set up at a Chicago land in this... Uh, I guess third generation, uh, fourth generation body style. That is right, yeah. So anyway, there's a lot of damage. Got some grass. No bottom grill right here, which is accurate. You got tape on the uh, hood pins. Got plenty of dirt on the hood. And you got Bud All Star Game Detroit 2005. Got dirt up here and whatnot on the hood. You got some dirt and grime. This was the first year of opening roof flaps. They do open. And on the deck lid, you got MLB All-Star Game Detroit 2005. This camera does not like to focus. I have noticed. And uh, there's a fuel cell. Let me go ahead and... Uh, I didn't look under the hood, I don't believe. I really, I'm so OCD, I honestly hate handling these cars when I have them set up the way I like them. But there's your uh, pre-Lionel days engine detail. So much more better. But that's something we can't gripe about anymore. And then on the uh, back we have Budweiser, game time. We got 8, the Dale Earnhardt logo. On them. We got 8 on both sides. We got a little bit of damage on the bumper, not much. And on the driver's side, we have uh, Menards. I still don't know what that K means. Uh, Miller, Welders, Napa, Safety Clean. We got a pitcher throwing a pitch. We got Budweiser on the quarter panel. And we got on the C post, Bass Pro, Dale Earnhardt, Inc. On the B post, we got Wrangler, Gillette Young Guns, Champion, Sparkplug, Cincinnati, and Sharon Williams. And we got Ritz Snap On. We got the uh, classic DEI 8 and the uh, 2005 contingencies. Uh, got some grime on this side, not a lot. Not sure what that is. But, uh, this is a race win. Of course, you've got your uh, grime on the tires, which is nice. So on the right side. Uh, we have some where he, I guess he made contact with the wall. I did not actually watch this race in person. I saw it on the news. I was, spending, I was at my grandmother's house when I saw it on the news. His sole win of 2005. But, um, a beautiful car and a diecast I'm very happy to have off my grail list. I actually got two off my grail, grail list this holiday season. So, uh, that's a big deal for me. So, let's take a look at the box. Of course, we have a 2005 race winner box. We have Junior's team pushing the car after he did a celebration. We got Dale Jr. We've got eight. We've got Budweiser, official beer of MLB, I reckon. Winner, Juliet, Illinois, July 10th, 2005. We've got the MLB official sticker out there. Action 124 scale stock car, race version, and pretty much everything on this side. 
and this is uh, 1 out of 8,800. No, excuse me, total production of 4,884. So for a car that is very high produced now, this was very low produced back in 2005. And this was the year they started going from the sleeves to the conventional boxes. There's that. Anyway, my final thoughts on this car is, you know, obviously, it's a great car. It's, I was really glad to win this. I, I got scared I was in a bidding war with this guy at the end. And, you know, of course, he bid on the last second. And I don't bid much. Usually, I just buy it now. And I was with some friends, and I was watching it, and they are like, Dude, dude, these, they're bidding. So, I uh, almost... I hit 894. I meant to hit 94. But uh, fortunately, the way they have eBay set up, I didn't have to pay that. I wouldn't have paid that. Sorry, but no. Ended up paying about uh, 109 for this, which is is my new highest paid for a die cast. But it's worth it, in my opinion. That's pretty much it. Uh, and this, I rec you know, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just going to stop talking because I'm ranting and it's not making any sense. So, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Give my Instagram a follow at jpat underscore diecast2. And uh, have a great day or night wherever you are. And we will see you in the next video.